41 question we have to find value of the definite integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square times cos x upon 1 plus e to the power x now we can read value of this integral like integrating from 0 to pi by 2 1 upon 1 plus e to the power x plus 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus x times x square cos x this we are reading using fact as we know that minus a to a f x dx is equals to 0 to a f of x plus f of minus x dx now on further solving this integral we can read x square time cos x x square is here algebraic and cos x is here trigonometric so we can apply integrate by part considering algebraic x square as first function and this trigonometric cos x as second function so now integrating by part we get first function integral of second which is sin x over interval 0 to pi by 2 minus integral over 0 to pi by 2 derivative of first integral of second now when we put pi by 2 this become pi square by 4 when we put 0 this become 0 minus 2 and again we can apply integrate by part one more time over this integral this will give value 1 and therefore the final answer will be pi square by 4 minus 2 which is option A is correct therefore option A is correct answer in question number 42 P is the image of point 3 comma 1 comma 7 in the plane x minus y plus z equals to 3 we will find out the point P and then find the plane to get the point P we will write the equation of line AP x minus 3 upon 1 y minus 1 upon minus 1 equals to z minus 7 upon 1 let's say this is lambda first of all we will calculate the foot of perpendicular capital F let's say it is lambda plus 3 1 minus lambda 7 plus lambda we will substitute this point in the plane which gives us lambda plus 3 minus 1 plus lambda plus 7 plus lambda equals to 3 which implies 3 lambda plus 9 equals to 3 so this is minus 6 or lambda is minus 2 gives you the point F as 1 comma 3 comma 5 using F we will calculate P P will be twice F minus A as F is a middle point so it will be 2 minus 3 6 minus 1 and 10 minus 7 so P is minus 1 comma 5 comma 3 now we have to find a plane which is containing the line x upon 1 equals to y upon 2 equals to z upon 1. So for writing the equation of plane which is containing point P and a line which is passing through origin and parallel to vector i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap. This is the plane which we want to calculate for that I will say the equation of plane is x minus 0 y minus 0 z minus 0 this is a vector a variable point q I have taken as x y z so oq vector then op vector op vector will be minus 1 5 3 and 1 2 1 vector this equals to 0 is the desired plane let us solve this determinant this is minus x then plus 4y then minus 7z equals to 0 or x minus 4y plus 7z equals to 0 
therefore the correct option will be option C although we can calculate the plane without calculating this determinant because all these three planes A C D are containing the line x by 1 y by 2 equals to z by 1 and there is only one plane C which is satisfying this point P therefore without calculating this determinant or exercise we can reach at the correct option so the correct answer is C question number 43 is an easier one fx is equals to a cos x cube minus x because we know cos mod a is equals to cos a therefore I can write it as cos x cube minus x rather than writing mod x cube minus x then plus b mod x now this mod x sine mod x cube plus x is same as x sine x cube plus x there is no difference between these two because if x is positive this is x and this is x cube plus x so both are equal when x is greater than or equals to 0 if x is less than 0 it is minus x and it is sine of minus x cube minus x minus will be cancelled so even if x is less than 0 both are equal so I can write my function as b times x sine x cube plus x now we know that this is a polynomial always continuous and differentiable and this is cos x always continuous and differentiable and composition of two continuous and differentiable function is continuous and differentiable the same thing is happening here and sin x cube plus x and x both are continuous and differentiable everywhere therefore the product will be continuous and differentiable and this is sum of two continuous and differentiable function therefore this is everywhere continuous and differentiable therefore the correct choices will be capital A and capital B whatever be the value real value of a small a and a small b that doesn't matter your function will remain continuous and differentiable so the correct answer is capital A and 